So this video is going to be quite a bit different to my usual videos. Today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the Paper Chase Blogger event. I went last year and I had an amazing time. Everyone was so, so lovely. And when I got the invite this year, I was just so excited to go again. I did film quite a bit whilst we were there. So what I'm going to do is talk to you about what we got up to um, and what the whole event was about. And when I mention certain things, I'll like insert the clips. I also received a goodie bag from the event. So I'll go through that at the end to show you what I got. So the event that I went to was the afternoon one. There was two blogger events going on on the Wednesday. Um, one was in the evening and one was in the afternoon. And the afternoon one just worked better for me. It was a few days before the event that I found out that two YouTubers who I knew and have been talking to for ages were also going to the event at the same time as me. And those two YouTubers were Chloe Murray and Anna Brim or Mrs Brimbles. And I'll of course leave links to their channels below. But yeah, that made it like 10 times more exciting because I was going to get to meet two friends which I've been talking to for so long. So I got the train to London and then I was going to get the tubes but I really didn't fancy getting the tubes. Um, so I got on the bus instead um, and it was nice to see a bit of London. So I got there and I headed upstairs because I just kind of went with what I knew from last year and I went where I went before. And then a few other people started showing up as well and then Chloe and Anna showed up. Um, and it was so nice to meet them, it was just so much fun with them there. Once everyone had kind of arrived and everything, we then went into, like, they had a back area where they'd set up all of the spring and summer collections for 2016. And we went and had a look around, took photos, um, had a nosy at all of the new collections, which were all amazing. And then we had two of the in-house designers who design the Paper Chase products. They were there talking us through all of the new collections and they just kind of told us a bit more about each of the collections and how it came about and everything, which was really nice and really interesting. That side of things really does intrigue me. And last year at the blogger event, they didn't do that. So it was a nice kind of addition to this year I suppose. Once they'd done chatting about the collections and we'd done taking photos we then went back to the craft area and there was a load of Christmas trees set up. They were all different colours and we just had to kind of sit next to the colour that we wanted. Basically in our goodie bags there was a £25 voucher for Paper Chase and we had I think about 20 minutes or something to go around the shop and buy things to decorate our trees with which was a lot harder than you'd think it is because that store is massive. Obviously I wanted to buy things for the Christmas tree but I also wanted to buy things which I'd obviously use later on and stuff. So yeah I did try and put some thought into it and the things I ended up picking for my tree they kind of represented me at the moment so I found a little house decoration which obviously I'm moving house so that's quite relevant. They had tinsel and they had like lights and stuff but I wanted to go for something a little different and I found these kind of pegs which were like all in a line um, so I thought that'd be fun to wrap around the Christmas tree and also then they're a little bit more versatile so I can use them for other things as well. And then I found a bright yellow bauble which I just fell in love with because yellow. <laughs> so yeah that kind of that's how I went with the decoration. Once we were done decorating our trees we then photographed them and obviously I'll insert the photo here. So yeah that was really fun to do and we got to keep the Christmas trees and the decorations as well which was awesome and so lovely of Paper Chase. The next activity that they had planned was making pinwheels with things by Laura. I'll leave a link to her website and her Instagram below if you want to have a look at things she does but these were the pinwheels that I made. We got some instructions. We got two strips of card which were already perforated so we could fold it straight and they had these kind of shapes punched out of it. We had to fold them into a concertina and then we had to glue the two ends together to make kind of a ring or a loop and once it was a loop we then had to flatten it which was actually really difficult um, as you'll see in the clip. Once we'd flattened that we then stuck two discs on each side to keep it as a flat circle rather than it springing out and I decorated mine by putting a cutout of a snowflake on it um, with a little kind of gem snowflake in the middle and then we just attach some string to the top to make it a kind of decoration that we can hang somewhere.
<laughs> so close. Just turn it oh. on itself. And once we'd done that one, which was kind of ready prepared, um, we then had a go at doing our own. And this was how mine turned out. I ended up not really decorating the centre of this one or putting a bit of string on it, um, just because I ran out of time. But yeah, I was really chuffed with actually how it turned out because this was kind of wrapping paper, it wasn't card, so it was a lot more difficult to flatten without ruining it. Obviously it doesn't look as good as this one, but yeah, I was chuffed with the outcome and I learned a new skill which was really cool. So yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to be making more of these around Christmas time. We all had a go at that. It was actually really enjoyable and it was just so funny as well because some people just didn't sit flat and some kept boinging out of flatness. That kind of took us to the end. We then had a last look around at the spring and summer collections and took like last minute photos and videos and we also got a few members of the Paper Chase PR team to take a photo of me, Anna and Chloe um, because obviously it was the first time we'd met and we didn't have any photos of us together so yeah we wanted a few photos of just us together. We stood in front of one of the wedding collections kind of backdrop which had the pinwheels which were actually made by things by Laura. It was just a really really lovely afternoon. I got to meet two friends which I've been friends with for I don't know how long now but we've been chatting for ages online and obviously I'm part of Anna's design team. It was just so lovely to meet her. Um, they're both so genuine and I got on with them so well. They're exactly like they are in their videos. <laughs> they're just so lovely. We did chat to the PR team from Paper Chase for a little bit afterwards as well. Um, and we talked about some exciting things which might be happening. There was lots of fun ideas being kind of thrown about so I don't know what's going to happen there but hopefully some fun things will be coming your guys way very soon. So I'm now going to show you what I got in my goodie bag. So this is the goodie bag. Last year I also got a goodie bag um, and they did tell me last year that they had them specially made. So I'm not sure if that's the same case with this year's bag. But yeah I really love it and I use canvas bags all the time. Um, so it's really nice to have some pretty paper chase ones. In here there was the catalogue for all of the spring and summer collections. My favourite collections, which I can't wait for them to be out, um, is the Parcano, Parcano um, which is this collection. I just absolutely love bold lines and colours. I really like the look of the colouring book. Um, I know paper chase hasn't had a colouring book before, um, so yeah, that's exciting that they're going to be having a colouring book. I also really like the Serengeti collection. I really love the bag they've got in this collection. Um, and also the... Where's it gone? And also the scrapbook. I think this pattern is just so, so pretty. We didn't get to see the Hello Sweetie collection. That wasn't up when we were there. Also, there wasn't any of this all change collection up. Um, but I feel like I've seen this before, they've had this sort of style before. So yeah, it's really nice to see these things before they're actually out on the website or anything. So the first thing I got was this pen, which is from the Get Organised collection. And it's just got this brown pattern on the barrel and it's got copper on the like metal bits. So yeah, it's a really nice combination of the brown and copper that they've used. And then in here I've also got the gift card that they gave us. There's then this list book, which I think is from their current collections. I'm pretty sure I've seen this design in the shops. But yeah, inside you've got a load of different list pads, um, all different sizes and like little tabs up the top as well. I love the cover that they've got on this because if you can see that it is glittery but they've got this plastic cover over it so the glitter doesn't go anywhere. Um, and then it's just got an elastic closure which goes over the top and around the middle. There's then this absolutely beautiful photo frame which is actually available now. It's got a little stand at the back um, and I'm definitely going to have this in my office space. There's then some sticky notes which is from one of the new collections. This is from the Wild at Heart collection and inside the sticky notes look like this. So there is some heart ones, some heart glasses, some tigers and then these kind of rainbow ombre sticky tabs which are so pretty. I love how Paper Chase do this with their sticky notes. They have these like little booklets for them. Then last of all in the goodie bag is this which is a dates to remember uh, book. It has the months of the year going down the side. Um, it's then got a little kind of letter 
symbol at the bottom. So in each tab it has things to remember and then two blank note pages. It's then got a gift list which says name, occasion and date and then some more blank note paper. Um, and then it's got another set of gift list and note paper. And then it's got one more page of gift list. Um, and then that's obviously the same throughout. And then at the back on the little letter tab section, it's got addresses. So it's got space to put a name, address, home, mobile, work and email. Um, and then it's just got a load of them all throughout the rest of the pages. I'm actually really excited to use this because at the moment my address book is a total mess. Um, I have addresses and old addresses and people's new addresses that I need to sort. I just want to say a huge thank you to Paper Chase for inviting me again. I had an absolutely great time. I'm also super, super happy that I got to meet Anna and Chloe. If you guys are interested in seeing the collections more close up, I am going to do a blog post which will have all of my photos on. But yeah, that was the Paper Chase blogger event of 2015 for the spring and summer collections of 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. In the comments below, I'd love to hear which your guys favourite collections are or the ones that you're looking forward to most from what you've seen in this video. Like I said before I'm quite excited for a few of them but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.